So tonight we're going to be doing a drawing of this little cool tractor, courtesy of David Phillips' great picture of Unsplash. I'm going to go and do some really rough, rough lines on this one and then I'm going to harden it up a little bit with a fountain pen. Um, and then I might drop a bit of watercolour on it. These sketches are just fast, evening, chilling, not really thinking too much. So let's get started. Right, if you look at this sketch, if you look at this, um, the sort of dimensions of this roughly, this is a point 0.2, point 0.2 fine line that I'm using here. I can really roughly just, I uh, see already I'm too far over there. But the whole thing needs to be that way a bit. So let's spring the back wheel. The back wheel is actually a good bit to start on. No, it's actually a lot more upright than that. You can measure it in terms of back wheel widths, can't you? So if that's the back wheel there, the overall width of that again takes you to the middle of the front wheel which is about half the front wheel and then there's a gap and then there's the same again so yeah again it's a bit of a squeeze that but there we go And then we've got a bit here, and then from there, so that line comes up and over. So the halfway point between that front wheel and the back wheel going up is actually the seat, which is kind of that shape. And there's the gearbox at the back. And then... And it goes up. And then from the middle of that wheel... We have that bit there. And let's get the centre line in for the front. Some really weird grill on the front of this tractor that I'm really not sure I want to... I want to include. I'm going to right. It still could be more over there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. And then we've got the wheel. Yeah. It's a funny little squat tractor. I don't know what type it is. Got some kind of radiator cap. And then these come down at a bit of an angle. So the whole thing about this technique is it's very, 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 very loose. But you sort of refine it in stages. trees behind here so I'm putting a bit of a suggestion of these trees back here not really paying that much attention to getting them super accurate and then there is a fence that goes down here, so 
I might just put again a suggestion of that in. There we go. So, where's my lid gone? Come on, cat, you better. There you go, Sans. I'll need your jammies, I'll get to bed. I'm doing some recording now, babe, so I can't stop. Okay. Jammy's on bedtime. Do some reading, will ya? Okay. Love you. See you in the morning. Yeah. Okay, so where was I? All right, so that's vaguely all the rough bits in it. I'm going to not bother with um, that grill thing on the front. And also, these wheels are not going to come. They're not going to be full circles. The inside one will be. Okay, let's go for it. It's pretty angry, this thing. Okay. Okay, so we've got a lot of little internal doodads on top of this engine block. The wheel's probably a bit big, but we can still show some of these bits. Some great forms on these tractors. Loads of little bits to draw. It's funny how I think you can see them as a bit annoying and inconvenient or sort of gifts, really. 
to a sketch. It all helps tell the story. Okay. These are... Uh... Wheels are pretty shoddy. Now I'm just trying to get a little bit of the tread detail in here. It's, it's a bit tricky. So that really is pretty rough. I don't mind. I quite like it. So let's do a little bit of uh, cross hatching, create some shadow areas. And then really under here, that's the other wheel at the back. And then under here, I guess. Okay, that's a really wonky sketch. So should I use my flex pen maybe? You can see how um, how dark this is, um, how thick the lines it puts down. It's really, it's a really juicy, juicy pen. Which is good, but you've got to be super careful you don't smudge it. Okay.
There you go. Bit of light variation in there. Which is always nice. Usually one of the probably most important bits of this is Is that line under there? But anyway, there you go. Okay, so I like that. I think the final thing to do is, is actually do to put a bit of colour on it. There's only a light grey, a dark grey, some pops of red and pink, and then a little bit of that sort of rust. I might put a little blue in the headlights. I probably won't put anything in the background. And I'm just going to dab some colour on this. So what I need at first is it's a new type of pad this I'm not really used to it yet actually I'm going to put a, a little hint of green under there so I'll sap green ultramarine blue uh, I'm not gonna not be too fussy about that I put some spots in early doors There you go. And there's a, on my palette here, I've got a nice bit of quinacridone gold, which is a colour I can never resist. And I love it in, particularly love it in greens. It always seems to lift them. And then I'm going to put a bit of blue, another bit of that ultramarine blue, actually for some kind of shadow tone. I'll drop that in. There. Okay, so that's that done. So now we've got this bluey grey for the tractor itself. Now I'm going to try and show some form with this paint. In other words, try and show a few real rough highlights. Okay, I did say I was going to do a couple of blue dots. Just in the headlights. Too blue. Take a bit of that out. Transfer that over there. There we go. So thinking about this, thinking about this slightly orangey, peach, rusty tone. Again, I'm not going to be too precious about this. Darker, actually. And then there was a little bit of rust in the various other bits. In here too. More texture on there, I think. I'm sort of making this up a bit now as I go along. Added a bit more rust to it because it. Oh, this looks nice. 
So I think I'm going to leave that there and just wait for the tyres to um, put some on the tyres. Hair dry and then put a little bit on my tyres. Right, I'm going to put a bit more dark, uh, this dark red. I'll put a mix of bit of blue in there. And then I can go in here and create a little bit more interest in some of these. Darker areas. So we've got quite a lot of. And also, there was a bit more there. What? Right, I think that's it. So one last hair dry, and then I might do a little bit of white gel pen. I might not, I might leave it. So what we're going to do now is just put in a couple of lines that would suggest There you go. And put a couple of dots. There we go. So I don't know what you think of that. It's a nice, loose, messy sketch. Nice textures in here. I like this broken paint that was dragged across for the floor. That worked really well. I'm not really sure about this in here. Um, line thickness is nice, particularly this bit here is really good. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting little experiment. I love the, the rough style. Um, I do like this sort of rough style of swirly whirly lines and then sort of coalescing it into a more formal picture. Um, it just struck me as good for certain things, not for others. And my industrial design background means that when I look at those ellipses and they're not right, it makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. But um, I mean, for a rough sketch and for a speedy sketch, I think it's pretty cool. I quite like the colours. So I hope you've you can see from that that. You know, it's not really about painting exactly what's there. You can add bits, take bits away. Um, you can, um, you really don't have to replicate. 
you can add and embellish and do what you want. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I will see you again.